for olfaction we need to have olfactory receptors so olfactory receptors are nothing but it, uh, they are the receptors situated in the olfactory mucous membrane that lines in the upper part of the nostril so this is the diagram the red part is the olfactory receptor it is the nothing but the receptor situated in the olfactory mucous membrane that is lines the upper part of the nostril so this yellow is a mucous membrane olfactory mucous membrane the olfactory mucous membrane consists of around 10 to 20 million of olfactory receptors this yellow part is the olfactory mucous membrane it can contains around 10 to 20 million of olfactory receptors supported by the sustentacular sustentacular cells uh, in taste pathway we have type 1 cells similarly in the olfactory we have the cells sustentacular cells uh, so olfactory receptors are situated in the olfactory mucous membrane the olfactory mucous membrane contains around consists around 10 to 20 million of olfactory receptor cells supported by the sustentacular cells this mucous membrane also contains baumann's gland okay it consists of 10 to 20 million olfactory receptor cells okay the olfactory receptor cell actually it is a bipolar neuron this the dendrite of the uh, dendrite of the neuron is short but the expanded end of the dendrite is called as olfactory rod this is the olfactory rod the expanded end of the dendrite is called as olfactory rod so from the rod about 10 to 12 cilia arises and this cilia actually it is non myelinated and it projects to the surface of the mucous membrane so we have olfactory receptor which is situated in the mucous membrane we also has a baumann's gland in the mucous membrane the dendrite of the uh, olfactory receptor is short but the expanded part is known as the olfactory rod from there which arises 10 to 12 cilia this cilia projects to the mucous membrane that is about olfactory receptor coming to the olfactory pathway what about the axons with the dendrites are short and it's expanded and it is called as the olfactory rod which has cilia and which projects to the mucous membrane what about the axons of this the axons of the bipolar neuron that is the bipolar olfactory receptors it pierces the cribriform plate you think you can see the cribriform plate here this is the cribriform plate the axons of the olfactory receptor pierces the cribriform plate and cribriform plate is actually situated in the which bone it is cribriform plate of ethmoid bone so axons of the bipolar a uh, neuron that's a bipolar olfactory receptors pierce the cribriform plate of ethmoid bone and reach the olfactory bulb this is the olfactory bulb okay and what happens here the axon synapses here in the olfactory bulb and it it synapses with the dendrites of the mitral cells you can see the yellow colored part in the olfactory bulb that is a mitral cell this is the mitral cell so what happens here the axon of the olfactory receptor cells pierces the cribriform plate of ethmoid bone and reaches the olfactory bulb and in the olfactory bulb we have the uh, we have the axons uh, the axons of these receptor cells synapses with the dendrites of the mitral cell okay mitral cells have dendrites the dendrites of mitral cells synapses with the axons of the receptor cells and different group of these synapses form globular structures called olfactory glomerulus you can see a round yellow color uh, in the olfactory bulb so this is the olfactory glomerulus as a part of the synapses synapses uh, taking place between the dendrites of the mitral cell and the axons of the receptor cells okay that's the olfactory glomerulus so uh, this olfactory glomerulus and the what happens next the axons of mitral cell we have mitral cell dendrites mitral cell we have axons as well as dendrites so the dendrites of mitral cell synapses with the axons of the olfactory receptor what about the axons of the mitral cell the axons of mitral cell it leaves the olfactory bulb and form the olfactory tract the olfactory tract runs backwards and ends in the olfactory cortex so that's about the olfaction so what is that nothing is the starting is the olfactory receptor which is situated in the mucous membrane it is present in the uh, it is situated in the mucous membrane the mucous membrane contains a gland known as uh, baumann's gland the mucous membrane uh, the olfactory receptor has dendrites which are short and the expanded part of the uh, dendrite is called the olfactory rod the olfactory rod has 10 to 12 cilia arising from it and it projects to the mucous membrane and then what about the axons of the olfactory receptor the axons of the olfactory receptor pierces the cribriform plate of the ethmoid bone and it reaches the olfactory bulb in the olfactory bulb what happens the axons synapses with the dendrites of the mitral cells we have mitral cells in the olfactory bulb the dendrites of the mitral cell synapses with the axon of the olfactory receptor the axons of the mitral cell leave the 
uh, the, what the olfactory bulb and form the olfactory tract. And we have something also known as olfactory glomerulus. How the olfactory glomerulus is, uh, occurs is that the the axons of the receptor olfactory receptor cells with the dendrites of the mitral cell synapses and form all together form a olfactory glomerulus. The axons of mitral cell leave the olfactory uh, tract, olfactory bulb, and it ends in the olfactory tract. And this olfactory tract runs backwards and ends in olfactory cortex, which is the uh, center, uh, the olf uh, center for olfaction. The olfactory cortex includes axillary structures which form a part of limbic system. Olfactory pathway, we have olfactory receptors, eh, which, are, which is a bipolar neuron actually. And the olfactory receptors are situated in the mucous membrane. The olfactory receptor, the dendrite of the olfactory receptor is short and the expanded part is called the olfactory rod. The olfactory rod has 10 to 12 cilia arising from, the, from it and it projects into the mucous membrane. Okay. And the axon of the olfactory receptor pierces the cribriform plate of ethmoid bone and reaches the olfactory uh, bulb. Okay. And the, we have mitral cells in the olfactory bulb and the mitral cells, the dendrites of the mitral cells, it synapses with the axons of the, uh, the recept olfactory receptors and it forms a uh, structure known as olfactory glomerulus. What about the axons of mitral cells leaves the olfactory bulb and ends in the olfactory tract this olfactory tract, then it goes to the, the axons go to the, I mean, the fibers goes to the olfactory cortex, which is the center for olfaction. Okay, that is about olfactory pathway. Uh, this is what you can, I wrote it as point wise, if uh, olfactory receptors are situated in the olfactory mucous membrane, the mucous membrane consists of 10 to 20 million of olfactory receptor cells supported by sustained regular cells. The mucosa is lined by mucus secreting Bowman's glands. Also, the mucus contains some proteins which increase the actions of odoriferous substances on receptor cells. So, path we can write this pathway at least now. Within olfactory receptor cells, a bipolar neuron. The dendrite of this neuron is short and has an expanded end called olfactory rod. From olfactory rod, we have around about 10 to 12 cilia arises and projects into the mucus membrane. The axons of the, uh, the olfactory receptor cell pierces the cribriform plate of ethmoid bone and reaches the olfactory bulb. The axon synapses with dendrites of the mitral cells and the uh, axons of mitral cells leave the olfactory bulb and reaches the olfactory tract. What about, and different groups of the axons of uh, the receptor cells and the dendrites of the mitral cells synapses and form a structure known as olfactory glomeruli and the, the cells which left the olfactory bulb and reaches the olfactory tract, which goes to the olfactory cortex. The olfactory cortex includes anterior olfactory nucleus, prepyriform cortex, olfactory tubercle, and amygdala, which is a far part of limbic system. So that's a flowchart, which is easy. You can score marks in exam. That's why I made a flowchart here. You can copy it down if you want.